Again, it takes over an hour, believe me, much over an hour. Uh, all the priests, when we do our vows, the bishop with his priests blesses the oils. The oil of the sick is blessed. The oil of the catechumens is blessed. The oil of chrism is consecrated. And then those oils afterwards are distributed, and we bring them back, and Holy Thursday night, they bring it into church in a special celebration. And those will be our oils for the new year. And in case you're wondering what happens to the old oil, the leftover oil, well, when we start the fire on Holy Saturday, that oil is poured on it. And that's how it's destroyed. So, little tidbit, all right? <sighs> the readings today, they're kind of interesting because Ezekiel, the prophet, he starts talking about, from now on there will be only one nation. Only one. And, you know, there will no longer be two nations, Israel and Judah and so forth like this. And God's going to bring his people together, and they'll all be under King David, and uh, they'll all be under Judah, and so forth like that. This idea of unity, bringing people together, bringing back God's scattered nations, to bring them and get one in peace. Jesus, in the Gospel today, again, you know, and what's better than the chief priest says? You know, that one man uh, suffer for the sake of the nation. This idea of the one. You know, it just sort of popped out at me when I read it today. So it kind of brings us all together. We're all together in Christ. We're all together under Christ. We're all together because of Christ. We're no longer Jew and Gentile, slave and free, as St. As Paul says. We are one, God's holy family. And we have to keep that in mind at all times. Another thing that was interesting is, you know, the reason the, the scribes and the Pharisees and the chief priests are angry, he's making all these signs. He's working all these wonders. And yet as we read the gospel prior to this, the different ones, you know, the, the scribes and the Pharisees kept asking Jesus for a sign, or a sign from the heavens, or something like that. They're afraid. They're afraid of losing their power. They're afraid of what the Romans are going to do. They're afraid of a lot of things. But Jesus knows everything's in God's hands. He trusts explicitly in God. He's not, he's not going to waver from that. Maybe that's what we can do too. Trust in God. Know that, you know, we're trying to do God's work. And as long as we're trying to do God's work, that's what's important. He's going to bring it to completion. He's going to bless it. He's going to make sure everything happens all right. And as we go, starting today with our Holy Week, our service tonight, with the entrance of the blessing and the entrance of the palms, you know, let's remember that. We are one holy people, God's people. Let us pray. Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since, by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the body and blood of your Son. So may you make us sharers in his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Will the person bringing communion to the sick and hold out, please come forward. Go forth in peace to the sick and homebound of our community, assuring them of our prayers, our love, and our support. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bow down our heads and pray for God's blessing. Have mercy, O Lord, upon your church as she brings you her supplications. And be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins, or weighed down by their trials. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in God's peace. Amen.
Hey.